Hi, today we are going to talk about the world as it appears to us at this time, how you might be fitting or not fitting in the world, and how to consider the bigger picture in best maneuvering your world. might be getting caught up in the headlines or fears or listening to conspiracy theories, whatever it is, it is shaping you. Whatever you're paying attention to is shaping you. So I would like to share with you some overall thoughts on how you can perhaps perceive things in a way that's going to help you to deal with the world as it is, as well as how you can consciously lead your life in this world and not get lost in the noise. Hi, I'm Cindy Eiler, and I help you understand your human life, advance your soul evolution, and transcend your total existence and merging all parts of you to transform your life to the best that it can be. Today, we're gonna break it down a little bit. This is a huge subject. So obviously, if I went into total depth with it, the video would be super long. I'm not trying to make a super long video because I'd like just to get to some certain points and then with future videos, I'll start breaking it down piece by piece. But I want you to get a snapshot of perhaps the micro, the smaller picture, and the macro, the bigger picture. So you can remember as you are traveling through your life, as you are thinking about what's important to you and recognizing what you might be focusing on and how that's going to affect you and how to better stay in alignment with remembering you have all kinds of aspects making a complete whole. And if you're only living one or two or jumping between aspects and sometimes feeling just present as the human person, and sometimes you're opening up to source energy, your higher power, or touching into that spiritual side, but you don't really stay on it and you're not living it in a balanced way as an everyday thing, at least you have the information here to know what areas to consider to tap in. And then you may choose to be more conscious about how you allow yourself to interact with certain things that are available in this world as a human experience, or even those that are spiritual, because there are all kinds of beliefs out there. There are all kinds of teachings out there. And depending on which ones you put the most focus to and belief towards is going to affect your overall picture. I know that if I'm watching somebody like a preacher, for example, talking about God and Jesus and and how to live that kind of life with that kind of focus compared to maybe astrology or maybe some intuitive reader When you pay attention to those different kinds of perspectives will put you in different energetic vibrations that will start creating your life, your world, your beliefs, your fears, your happiness, whatever it is from that vibration. So it does matter who you're listening to. It does matter where you put your focus, it does matter how you speak every day and how you live every day. You probably all have an example of this. This is just a basic example of what I'm talking about. You might see somebody on your social media and all they ever do when they post is complain about things. And even though the things they're complaining about actually look like blessings, but they still only complain and wonder why they're not happy in their life. So somebody's always complaining, they're just always gonna be complaining because that's the energy that they're putting themselves in. Instead of seeing the blessing, 
and then raising their energy to that of being grateful for the blessing and receiving more blessings. It really is that simple to know that what vibes you're hanging out in, how you're feeling emotionally and mentally and spiritually and physically, all will dictate where your vibes hanging out. So let me now break this down because I, I started by saying I help you understand your human life. So let's go there first. This is our human life. Being human, living in this world, having presidents, having politics, having illness, having friends, having relationships, having ups and downs, okay, whatever they are. We all have our own set of whatever those things are. And there is a lot of noise in the world. Again, I can't go too deep into this. I'm going to give an overall just to, for you to get a basic understanding of the different areas that you want to start tapping into. The first question is, how do you live in this world? And anything that I'm saying, I just want to put out there first is, I'm simply sharing different ideas and perspectives that you can consider. I am not saying that my way is the way, and I'm not saying that you should believe the way I believe or anything like that is just simply to help you to understand different aspects so you can decide and choose for yourself. So I'm not judging anybody. I'm not saying anything. I'm just putting this out there for you to help you. So how do you live in this world? Are you the type that lives the world as day in, day out, do the normal human things, and hope for the best, hopefully. And with that comes the politics and the illness and the, the human stuff that happens on our planet with humans and children and animals and other countries and all that stuff. So there's people that live, that's, that's the world that they live. And it's a valid world. It's a valid, it's a world that we do live in that is part of the noise that we are infused with every single day? Or are you somebody that, yeah, obviously you have to engage in the world as it is, but you have some spiritual practices where you might be more conscious every day about how you're feeling, what you really want in your life, how the people in your life affect you, the things that trigger you, and as those things come up, you work on your issues and live your life in that way where you're actually living the world, but also living, really looking at yourself as a uh, emotional, mental, spiritual, physical being that can do things to shift things in your life, to feel better, to, to heal, to get past traumas, to just advance your life so you're feeling better as you go. So you can attain better relationships, attain a, a soulmate relationship that's more equal and more loving and more giving, or following your life passion and sharing from that space. So that's somebody that has the human going on and the spiritual aspects happening at the same time where they're working on themselves? Or are you somebody who does both of those things that I just mentioned, the spiritual and the healing and the working on yourself and understanding the world, but added to that is more of a visionary that can look beyond what is and visualize or see or feel or tap into higher consciousness or dimensions and what is possible. It's like the new world. I've talked about the new world since probably 2011, way back. I've, I've been talking about the new world for a long time. But now is the time that we are actually shifting hugely towards this new evolution of our consciousness where we're actually starting to touch this new world. And that's why I am now shifting what I talk about 
to higher level teachings and more advancement for your human life, soul of evolution, and to transform your total existence where you can know where you are, but know that you are already creating what you really want. Now, I am of that realm, the third classification. By no means is there only these three clear-cut classifications. I'm just giving you some ideas of where you might be fitting in. I will say that the more that you work on being that visionary, knowing the possibilities, understanding energy, vibration, how the universe works, your soul evolution, the more leverage you are going to have to really merge the, the physical and the spiritual, the energy, and transcend your existence to one that others may never attain because they're not even thinking about it. Is that good or bad? It is what it is. It's what you want. No judgment for anybody who's just living the day-to-day -day world thing, okay? If they are here to experience that fully, that's what they're here to experience. Everybody has choices. My choice is to transcend. Yes, I'm seeing what's happening here. I don't like a lot of it. I do have to live here and be responsible for my part in the human world as we mostly see it. But that doesn't mean that that is the end all. For me, it's about really tapping into my soul, understanding my destiny, my spiritual growth, and my spiritual ascension. Spiritual ascension is when you work on your spiritual growth, you let go of more and more of what may be weighing you down, whether they are emotions, traumas, beliefs, family line traumas and issues. That can be a thing that's in your energy. I help people with that all the time. Ancestral traumas and beliefs and energies, all of that stuff definitely affects you. That's why it's important for you to not only focus on the human aspect of you, but also the spiritual aspect, the energies of your ancestry, the belief systems of yourself now and that you were born with in your DNA, all those things matter. And it's through exploring these things, you gain spiritual growth, personal development, spiritual growth, and you continue your journey at higher and different levels. So some of the things that people struggle, struggle with in the everyday human life are things that I really struggled with probably 30, 20 years ago, even five years ago. You know, there's, but there's always levels. And as you work through those things, yeah, you're going to have new levels of things. But if you don't work through those things, you stay in the same levels. And I just have never been about that. I've always been about, I want to do better. I want to progress more. I'm really interested in feeling my best, being happy, feeling light. That's why I love my spiritual journeys that I lead all over the world. Because the soul immersion that you experience when I take you through those journeys in specific energies, in specific places, for specific reasons, are things that crack open your soul and that you will have access to where it won't be as easy for you to access that stuff without these experiences and these energies. I'm not saying this is the only way. I'm saying this is the way that I have seen work beautifully in my own life and in my clients that join me on these spiritual journeys, and also the people that come to me for light activation healings, because light activation is all about peeling through the layers and finding what those hindrances are, those blocks, those beliefs, those energies that are yours, those energies that are your family line or your ancestors that could be standing in your way that if you don't know, how can you ever shift it out of the way? You just keep experiencing issues and not 
knowing why you can't get through them. So there's that human experience. I want to talk about the other part, the spiritual experience, the soul evolution. And the spiritual experience is when you allow yourself to pull back from the noise of the world. Now the world and the human experience have everything to do with your soul evolution because human aspect and the world that are delivering us opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to learn from. The things that trigger us and get under our skin are the things that we are being called to look at and find out why is this really bothering me? Why is it that I really don't like that person? What is it that I'm really angry about in this situation? And yes, the situation could have its own reasons for why you don't like it, why it makes you mad or upset. But what I'm talking about is really asking yourself, this is the emotion I am getting from this trigger or from this situation or this person. And why do I have this emotion and why is it bothering me so much? Like take away whatever opportunity that was that delivered it to you, the person, the situation, the, the trigger, and look at the emotion and figure out why that is bothering you. Because if you don't address those things, you're going to get opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to feel that way and get bothered by it. So when you're bothered by something, that's the flashing light of the universe saying, looky here, this particular thing is what's in your way right now. So if you're not getting something or you're not feeling fulfilled or happy or healthy in some way, and you get these triggers that upset you or get your attention, those are the things that you need to work on to help whatever that blockage is in that area of life that's, that's bothering you and doesn't seem to change. You got to do the work, plain and simple, or you continue with the situation. So when you bring in the spiritual, you're working on those things as they come up. You don't have to go digging for things, searching for things, going through your shadow side all the time and going through all these things. The universe is going to bring it to you. Okay, it will, there's no, there, you will always get delivered what is next on your plate. Now, when you work with someone like me, where I would do a healing on you or take you on a spiritual journey for a full soul immersion, I can go find those pathways and go deeper and really excavate at the core. So it opens all kinds of pathways and frees you and releases you to more of you, your truth, your soul. And your soul evolves and you start transcending further than you ever have. But you can definitely start the process on yourself. But if you feel like you need more help, if you feel like you're just not getting to the core, it's really important for you to consider getting help. Because why would you stay in the same when you can get the help and move on faster? You know, sometimes we can't find our own things. And then you go to someone and they're like, Bing, it's right here. I am really good at that. I go in and I'm like, oh, looky here. There, here's this thing. And my clients are always amazed, like, whoa, I can't believe you, you said that or you got that. Okay, so that's working on your spiritual side and it helps with your soul evolution. And then when I talk about transcending your total existence, when I say the word existence, that means everything that you are. Okay, you're human, you're spiritual, your soul, your emotions, your thoughts, your whatever, all of the things, that is your existence. And when you can live a more focused life without getting fully caught up in the world as it is, Yes, you pay attention to it. You are responsible. You do the things that are going to help your world. You do your part. 
At the same time, you are a spirit being. You work on strengthening your spirituality and starting to understand yourself at deeper levels, work on healing, work on transforming, and helping your soul to continue to evolve in the way that you came here to do. I believe that we are here on this earth experiencing time and limitations in order to use those things to help with our own growth as a human and as a soul. It's a tool. Being here on this earth is a tool. And if you use it consciously, you will get more out of it and you will benefit. You will get more out of it in your existence as a whole. So now that I've kind of gone through those things, you might have to watch this again to really get it in deeper. I wanna just give you a, a way to have a guiding star. What I'm gonna ask you to do is think about the end of your time here in this human existence, in this world, on this earth plane. Like ultimately is that day you die. And taking away everything in your life, just yourself, let's just be yourself right here, present. When you think of that end of your life period and that you pass on and then you transition into your new existence because you never truly die, you're always gonna be an energetic being. When you're transitioning into your new experience, are you thinking about what that means to you? Are you putting some thought to what happens when that time comes and where you want to be and what that looks like? Because what you do in your life is going to affect what happens when it's your time to transition and where you go. Because there are all different vibrations and dimensions and paradigms that we dwell in and we have the choice of where we're going to vibrate, where we're going to resonate, what we believe and what we know is possible, all matters. So for instance, if somebody is really mean and negative and does awful things to people and all that stuff, when there's that transition point, that person is going to be met with the vibrations that he has been living with or she, and is going to experience the transition into those energies that they have been sharing with themselves and those around them. And it may not be the greatest place to be transitioning to. But on the other hand, who are we to judge? Maybe they like that energy and that's what they know. So it's not going to be that big of a deal to them. I don't know. I'm not these, this person. Just giving you some things to think about. And maybe their soul wanted to experience being this kind of person in this human life. So that's what that soul came to experience. And also for the soul to experience the transition into the energy realm that that will take that soul to. Okay, so this could just be what that soul is determined to experience. For somebody that doesn't even think about life after death or what will happen at that point, what happens? Well, a lot of times I know some of these things because I can tap into those realms and I've actually helped a lot of people who have transitioned, who are stuck or traumatized or don't know where to go. So I've seen a lot of this. So if you never think about what happens after you pass, Sometimes you'll go into a transition and not know what to do. And you may try to stay earthbound because you don't know anything else. 
And when you stay earthbound or stay confused and feel alone and just don't really know what to do out there, that could be a not so great place to be. But there are a lot of earthbound souls that will just hang out on the earth and just continue to do what they always did and think that that's what life after death is. If you're someone who believes in the higher power, the divine, Jesus, or whatever your beliefs are as a higher power, when you transition, you will transition to those kinds of energies in whatever levels you held it, okay? So it does matter how conscious and focused you are on this aspect, and I would highly recommend that you think about what you might want for yourself when that happens, because it matters, <laughs> okay? So that, to me, I'm putting that as the guiding star, as place that you are going to end up eventually, okay? So that's the, the end point and the new beginning point. So that said, you know what that is. Now come here, be here. And what are you going to do in your life that's going to be important to that end point, to that transition? Okay? I believe that we're all here and we have gifts that we're supposed to share with the world and share love and be kind and all of these things are great. I believe we're all here for a purpose. I believe that we all have a destiny, but it's not a destiny where you just come here and you just live life and that's your destiny. It's you have opportunities to take leaps of faith, to better yourself, to understand your life more, to tap more into your soul so when you have this soul immersion, you can start living from that space, which is gonna be completely different from somebody that just lives the everyday in and out life and the world as you see it in black and white. When you start tapping into the depths of your soul and pulling out the treasures and the nuggets of who you are and understanding yourself at those levels, you begin to live your life with so much more conscious thought and intention. And then you are able to start being a visionary for what is possible. When I talk about we are able to start heading into the new world, a world that is way better than this experience, in my opinion, that's the one that I'm envisioning, some people might go, yeah, okay, right, you know, great. Let me see it. When I see it, I'll see it. If I don't see it in black and white, then it doesn't really exist. Well, that's your choice. Because if those are your beliefs, you'll just continue to exist to see the black and white that you're seeing. And you're not open and flexible in your mind or your beliefs or your spiritual practices to create and envision something better. And I know that a lot of people living from their souls and doing the kind of work I'm doing, and it may not be the same thing, and I'm not talking about my actual work. I'm talking about the being a visionary, seeing the transformation, the transcendence that is possible for us. And more and more people are starting to jump on that bandwagon and hold that energy. And it's only a matter of time before there's enough of the people and energies to lift into these new experiences, these new existences. And if you are not doing that, then you'll stay in the existence and experiences that you are staying in with other people that are doing the same thing. And that's perfectly fine. I'm just telling you that you have a choice. If creating a better way, a better world, a better energy, a better paradigm and vibration is important to you. The things that I'm mentioning in this video today are a great starting point for you to start wrapping your mind and heart around it. 
and then start thinking about what you might want to do to better your experience and to have more spiritual growth and for your soul's evolution to transcend your complete experience. And I would invite you personally to join me on a spiritual journey or do light activation healings with me. Go to my website, see what I have to offer. Ask me a question on, you know, tell me what's going on and ask me the question on what would be best for you. Because we all have different pathways that we use to do this stuff. But certainly life is not black and white. And it's really important for you to open your mind and have flexibility when it comes to your beliefs, your thoughts, and your judgments, because all of those things are either there to hold you back or spring you forward. And you'll know if you're holding back when you're feeling a resistance, when you're feeling angry about something that you don't believe, or when you're feeling challenged and you feel like your beliefs are being challenged. Like if you are so solid in your beliefs and your perceptions, then you wouldn't allow other people to make you feel challenged about it. And if you are being challenged by it, that's a trigger. That's a trigger for you to look at why you are being so affected. Because if it's your belief and you're solid in it, you don't have to prove anything. Nobody has to think like you. You don't have to get upset. You just realize, well, that's where that person is and that's where they are, okay? So ways that you know that you have flexibility is being open to hearing different things, being open to consider different things, feeling like, does that feel good to me? Does that feel interesting to me? Is that something I want to know more about or explore? Or this sounds right on. This is what I've been looking for. That's somebody that's more flexible with their mind and thoughts. We are always going to have some kind of belief system or challenge or struggle that comes up in our lives, but it's how we deal with it that's everything. We can either keep dealing with the challenge and the struggle and fighting up against it and and just letting yourself battle it out all the time. Or you can say, you know what? I am seeing this. I'm going to step above it. And with objectivity, I'm going to look at that and ask myself why I'm feeling that way. What do I need to know about myself? What do I need to learn? And what do I need to shift so I don't have to keep feeling that way because I don't like it. I want to feel this way. So what do I need to do with this so I can feel like this? And then next time that comes along, it's just not going to affect you. Okay, so it's just a matter of learning that triggers are there for you to help you shift things and get to a better place and that you can continually better your situation by being more of yourself, the human, the spiritual, the soul, seeing that guiding light at the end, like what's really important for you when you transition out of the human into the next realm and what are you doing in your life to walk the journey there are you walking the journey there or are you walking the journey just straight ahead and not focusing here or are you walking the journey down and not focusing here use that as the guiding light what do i need to do to be my best what do I need to do to shine my light the brightest? What do I need to do to share with the world, to help the world, to guide others to their best? How can I be a better example for myself and the people around me? How can I support this world as a light and support the, the vision of a new world? As you step yourself up and take responsibility, for how you are in this world and how you are going to every day be conscious about it and have a focus of where that point is and how you can start meeting it, it's going to offer you 
a whole different experience, a whole different existence, and you will be evolving with other like-minded souls in a higher vibrating world and existence and universe where you may attain levels to be in amazing energies that those who aren't doing will never experience. So if you're interested in riding that wave and being at those levels, keep watching my videos because that's what I'm all about. It's always what I've been all about, but it has never been the right time for me to start taking people there. Now, I will say I have my Cindy's Insiders Club, which is a webinar that I do twice a month, the first and third Monday nights of every month and I have a small group of people that I do take them on this journey. We do soul contract work. We talk about all kinds of spiritual enlightenment and growth and the new world and creating all that and how to live in this world and still be, of, be evolving to the next. We do that in that webinar. So if you want more of that, because you get a lot of support in that webinar and it's a great little community they're strong they're supportive and it's it's an amazing group of people and if you need that to help and guide you i would strongly recommend you contact me about joining that it's a priceless spiritual mentorship program and i can't say enough about it I have resources that can help you with all of these things if you are truly ready. So get in contact with me. My website's in the description below. You can contact me through there and tell me what's going on with you and I can guide you to the perfect services that will help you. This is the first of many videos that I'm going to have talking about helping you with your human life advancing your soul evolution and transcending your total existence. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos because this is going to be an amazing, helpful journey if you want to be one of those people that lives your complete existence in the best possible way. Thanks everybody. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace out.